Alright, what the fuck's your boo? Welcome to the Tuesday 5 numbers. That's the name of a little waste. Wednesday action over here, man. A little, uh, a little murder game up on the Piccadilly. So let's talk Piccadilly, man. Piccadilly is a pretty controversial map right now. Um, for the most part, it seems like people just don't like it. It seems to be the controversy. Uh, I, I'm gonna be eight, eight more than 92 with you. And that guy I feel bad for, man. That is the rare instance where you get shot first and you do not die immediately. Uh, you will not see that again on this channel. That doesn't really happen. Uh, I kind of just heard his footsteps, so I snapped while he was trying to, like, aim for, like, a perfect shot. So, uh, I I like Piccadilly. Might be an unpopular opinion to have. Uh, if I were running for office, I'd probably, like, lose your vote right there. Uh, but thankfully, I'm not. But I like Piccadilly. Uh, what I don't like is, once again, you know, similar to yesterday's like, episode, I don't like the spawns on Piccadilly. That is, to me, the number one issue uh, outside of the time to kill, which, once again, we're not changing. That's kind of what we're playing with, but uh, they both go hand in hand. With bad spawns and uh, low time to kill kind of just force people to not, like, move much. Uh, so, the reason why I like Piccadilly is because there's a... It, it, is, it is not necessarily a three-lane map, but it's one of the closest things we have to a three-lane map outside of, like, you know, the new map that just came out. Um with a couple like alternatives so you kind of have your middle your square thing but there's also these buses there there's double deckers that you kind of go between which kind of makes for pretty cool uh like options uh there's also like these little underground parts like the subway that you kind of get from one place to the other which are pretty handy uh so that's cool uh there's also uh just side offs you know and like buildings like this one i just looked into the shop which overlooks the middle uh so there's a lot of cool just call of duty structural stuff that I like in Piccadilly. What I don't like in Piccadilly is that you don't really experience that more often than not. What mostly happens is what you're about to see here, where you just pin one team down, and that is that. Uh, whether it be now, here's the thing: pinning them down on the side I'm pinning them down on right now, to me, isn't the. I don't want to say it's not the easiest, but it's definitely not the most common. The most common is to pin them down on the car side all the way over there and stuff because that like I, I had game where that is it like that's the whole game like i just stay put there over here you know i probably gonna have chopper gun here man but i eventually decided to kind of push up you know to actually like play call of duty and i die and i was like eh! i was like yeah why I, this game just favors sitting here and doing what i'm doing just peacefully waiting for like people to run by now uh, i mentioned yesterday there's two types of people right there's people that like run out and just keep dying over and over again like my man did over here like three times before and the people that like just sit down and like start camping well eventually all these guys sit down and start camping and rightfully so so yeah i decided to fall back over here because i wanted to kind of go around see if i get someone else stay over there and i got pop go just sat there peacefully waited and probably would have got myself a chopper gunner oh well uh the the just uh, and I'm, I'm angrily bunch of the the garage because I'm like, don't you know you're playing Modern Warfare? You're not supposed to move. Ah, you had a good position. Why'd you take me? Why'd you move? <laughs> uh, that's, just, that's how I feel about the game sometimes. Uh, but that's it. Like, here's the problem: Piccadilly. Like, Piccadilly doesn't ever play to its potential. I feel like, like it potentially could be one of the funnest maps in the game with a bunch of different like play styles could fit in. Right, your snipers could be up in the window. All right. You know, the assault rifle guys kind of moving through the sides, even going through the middle. Some machine gun, shotgun guys come building the building, hitting that kind of stuff. Like, it really fits into a lot of, like, traditional Call of Duty stuff. But since the game is kind of broken, it does us really no good. Uh, and as in, like, since the spawns will just allow one team to be spawn trapped, who cares about how cool, like, this middle bus section is? Or who cares about how, like, useful this little going underground section is? When all you can do is sit behind a car and just pin the other team down there. It's, it's those kind of things that, like, I just don't understand, like, how they got approved or how they're still a part of Modern Warfare. Uh, leading us to, like, the patch, right, that we had. We had the first kind of big patch. Big in quotations, though, because I, I, I don't really know how impactful it was. So, one thing they did was reduce the Claymore strength, which needed to be done. I mean, first off, if you're going to make Claymores that strong, don't have them be the first piece of equipment. Like, like what? Like, what? What? what why would you ever, like, have Claymores be... First off, Claymores have kind of been pushed back, uh, I feel like, in recent games that they've been in to, like, unlockables towards the end. Uh, because they are kind of powerful, normally. Uh, and I'm pretty cool with that. Like, the first thing you should do is probably put a grenade, right? Like, that's kind of, like, been Call of Duty 101. For some reason, now we have Claymores. Okay, cool. Just one... Just another reason why camping's, like, encouraged, right? Because not only... Are we encourage you to not like move much because you know the time to kill because the spawns this and that 
But we're also like gonna allow you to um uh, we're also gonna allow you to just like set up two claymores or one claymore. I think it's one and you need a perk for two, I believe, maybe. Yeah, I think because I have the perk quit. Uh, but one and two claymores, and you could always just have like protected and held. Even if you put down like one of those like ammo packs, you probably got another claymore too. So like you know, just roll out and just put like a little like damn like self defense thing like all around you, and that's it. And the other people would have to use either the shrapnel perk or something to detect it in order to just not blow up. And they were how they came out and on release was like crazy. Like you blow up all over the place. I would blow up behind my claymores sometimes. People blow up trying to blow them up. Like I don't, I don't know what they would do with the claymores. That's definitely been fixed, so that's a positive. Uh, I'm still using them, they're pretty handy. They still kill, as long as you put it right. So, I mean, I'm cool with that. Uh, a happy medium ground, and maybe they could even get a little bit more of a nerf. But, for now, that's a good move. Uh, the other one's a 725 shotgun, I think, or whatever. And, you know, the, the, the two shot, like, or the one shot kill from, like, a mile away shotgun. It has, like, two bullets. Um, I don't know. It got nerfed. Uh, I've seen tests that prove that it got nerfed. Uh, when you play the game, uh, it still kicks your ass. <laughs> like, that's kind of, it's kind of just what it is. Uh, it still, like, just annihilates you from any mile away. I've only picked it up once. I haven't even equipped it yet. I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous that if I do equip it, I'm going to, like, really like it. And then all we're going to see on the channel is just videos of, like, that shotgun and stuff. But, I don't know, maybe it's worth it. Maybe, I, I don't know. I like the other one, the RK, whatever, shotgun, the second one. Uh, that one seems to work well for me. Uh, by the way, I just want to point this out. Uh, this game started over here, like, you'll notice sometimes these guys are so pinned in the spawn, they start spawning me in the little shop next to them. I mean, that's crazy. That's a crazy spawn. Like, these people are spawn trapped in a bank, and I'm spawning in the building right next to them. That's why I died the last game, because I couldn't quite believe that they actually, like, spawned me there. I was like, what? Like, y'all put me here? Like, like, right on the enemy, like, what chance do they have? Like, they have no chance now to, like, move. Because we're just, like... I, I, with how big this map is, it, like, why would you not spawn where I just spawn right now? Over and over and over again. And hopefully, those guys get a breakthrough and push us back a little bit. But if you're spawning me right next to them, I mean, they have no chance to get a breakthrough. I'll just die and come back up. I mean, like, this guy was trying to, like, break through, but... Uh, well, anyway. Uh, so the 725 patch, uh, it, it, it got reduced... I don't really know how they got reduced because it did do whatever. And they fixed a bunch of other stuff as well. Those were kind of like two like biggies over there. I mean, there was some like kind of like adjustment on everything else. But like, I, and then they added the new map, right? Which the new map's cool. Uh, I, I don't have any footage of it. I hope I get it next week. Uh, I don't really have too many great, great games on it. But uh, it's got a lot of options. It definitely plays quicker. Um, games have actually ended before the time. <laughs> Which is just like, you know, it's this one. I think we take it all the way to the limit. I think we hit the score. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we don't. Uh, I think we do, but it's like right around, like, it's teetering close. Uh, I, I mean, if you release, let me put it this way if you release a game in 2019 that has a score limit or like a timer on it, but like historically, you always, like, like if, as long as the map's like 6v6, as long as it's not like 3v3 or something, you've always like got to 75 kills. And now you're starting, like, the data has to show. That there are tons of games where you just like run out of time before anything like that's a flaw like that's a problem if like, you need to speed things up you need to get people moving uh I, I ultimately don't know how you do that though with this game like number one is fixing the spawns i think that helps tremendously nonetheless though you're still gonna have people like hugging corners and just like sitting in places because it's very convenient like it worked for that play style this game is meant for that play style it's meant to have your gun up and looking around it's meant to be like mounting up against like walls and stuff and just barely creeping outside there's this whole like now like um stuff going on where like apparently you could see people through certain angles and stuff and not others on other screens and stuff like that I mean, like oh, there's some wild stuff going on in my more warfare man uh, I'm gonna post a campaign video up here like the next couple weeks as I beat that. That's pretty cool. Still haven't gotten around Spec Ops. Give it a shot. I've heard big spec results. Apparently this patch kind of made things easier, but I've heard it's kind of like gets like wild, crazy or something hard. I guess. I don't know. I don't think it's a... I, I haven't played yet because I don't believe it's gonna be the Spec Ops that I want it to be. So I don't know if I want like more disappointment like in the game. Uh, yeah, we do actually get the score here. Oh, good. We make it to the score limit. Good. We only have like 20 seconds to go left in the game. But yeah, we make it to the score limit. Maybe we do. I don't know. This is coming, this is coming, coming close to the Y. All right. Yeah, we do. All right. All right work, work. Um, so yeah, that's Piccadilly, man. Uh, it just sucks that Piccadilly turns into one team spawns, camps the other team, and that's it. Because I think the map's pretty good. 
if they allowed us to like move in it and if the game was meant to like move it a little bit. And don't even get me started on the random explosions that I die from. I don't know what the hell's up with that.